Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, we're going to try for, knock on wood, some 1510 Rapid. Wow. Actually, didn't take that long. We have an opponent. I think I should have moved this knight out first, but let's see if that is a little mistake or a bigger mistake. Let's go ahead and pin the knight. And our opponent is over 1700. That's a nice uh, goal to get to. If I can get about eight or nine points a win, all right. Still may, still may take a while for me to get to 1700. Okay, I got double pressure on this pawn. So far I've got it double defended. At this time control should have plenty of room, so, or plenty of time to make decisions. back up. First I was thinking about here, but nah. Okay, let's increase the protection on d5. Need to get my bishop out, get castled. In fact, good opportunity to do that now. Now if they take out my knight though, that's going to reduce one of my defenders on this d5 pawn. Not sure what a good alternative to that may be. Yeah. Alrighty, and I guess we'll start seeing some movement here. Wasn't expecting that. Ah, I should have seen that coming. All right, I guess I'm going to have to <clears throat> manually castle and maybe even tuck all the way over here, push a pawn, get my king out there so I can get my, my rooks connected. Damn. My knight up here to c5. Ah, oh, crap, I don't want to do that. Going here is just going to allow them to uh, check with a knight. I'm going to have to move back out. That's a hot zone right there. thinking about this move, but I'm pinned. Pinned, pinned, pinned. How do I get out of this mess? Yeah, see with this rook here, they can do a fork. Or, without even doing a fork, even I think even better, rook there to c7. I won't be able to take because that would be checkmate. They're going to have double pressure on this knight, which I can't move because it's pinned. So their next move would be to take maybe with the rook. All right, let's see. 
Well, I don't have a lot of moves I can make. Obviously, I can't move my knight anywhere because it's pinned. I can't move my king to the side because this diagonal is protected by their queen. So do we get to the point to where is my only move? Is it rook out? It may be. But yeah, I can't take. Ah, oh, jeez. Wow. Good game. Um, geez, oh, Pete's. All right. That went fast. Let's see. Well, we were balanced a little bit longer than I thought. Of course, remember, it was a short game, so... 25% being balanced for 25% of a short game is probably not very uh, not much worth bragging about so yeah low 60s for accuracy and no blunders no misses and I guess I didn't really miss much because my opponent hardly made any mistakes they made one mistake and a couple of inaccuracies yeah they really yeah they well I don't know how great they played, but they certainly played well, and they certainly, I was on my heels the entire time. You can see that Black never, ooh, got to balance at one point, but Black never had an advantage in this game. So definitely worth a longer study on my end. Some book openings. Good, good, ah, there we go. So there's, it. that is a critical move right there. I was worried about this pawn, and I think I've been in this situation before, making the same mistake, right, without a doubt. But instead, what if I, oh, I gotta hit retry first. No, nope, we got that, we're good there. Let's retry this one. Offer a queen exchange, inaccuracy. Not a mistake, but an inaccuracy. Hmm. Go ahead and take. Distract the queen from its mission. Yeah, I just saw that queen moving over. So, okay, well, what does it really do? But that's probably, yeah, probably. That is the best way to, to have gone. Get that knight out of commission get the queen away or not, but either way, then my follow-up move. Oh, they still have a take there and then take, but... Hmm. So even in this move, white ends up with a pretty nice advantage. Hmm. All right. Another mistake moving back. Probably need to keep that bishop on the right line. Yeah, get the bishop back guarding this square. I, you know, and I thought about that one too, but then I'm thinking, oh great, yeah, I'm just really locking in my dark square bishop. But then again, I can focus on this immediate problem first and then see about fianchettoing the bishop before castling and stuff. Yep, and this is, yeah, white's got full control here. All right, good game. I played uh, at the level of a 1300. That's a little bit uh, humbling. All right, well, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there. So short video, short game, and uh, let me go lick my wounds, and I'll catch you the next game.